In this activity, you're going to try to determine how many squares there are on a checkerboard. So on your screen, you'll see a picture of a checkerboard. And when I say how many squares are on the checkerboard, I don't mean just count the small squares. I mean squares of all sizes. So yes, we have these small squares right here, but we have larger squares. For example, this two by two square. We have another two by two that kind of overlaps that one right there. We have larger squares like this three by three square, and we could do four by four squares and so on. So your task is to try to determine how many total squares of all sizes, including overlapping squares, are there on a checkerboard. And once you realize that there are quite a few squares of different sizes on a checkerboard, this problem suddenly becomes a much more difficult task because there are a lot of squares that are overlapping and are of different sizes. And if we were just to go through and try to count all of those, it would be very easy to lose track of where we were. In situations like this, one strategy that you can use is to make an organized list. And for this problem, I suggest making a table something like the one below. In this table, I've listed the size of the square and then how many squares of that size there are on a checkerboard. So when we say a one by one square, I'm talking about these small squares right here. How many of them are there on a, on a checkerboard? And then when we say something like a, a two by two square, we're saying how many of these two by two squares are there on a checkerboard? Of course, keep in mind that some of them do overlap and they overlap in different directions. See how this one right here is overlapping in a different direction. So you're gonna have to then try to figure out how many total two by two squares there are on a checkerboard. And then three by threes, this would be a three by three. And of course, these three by threes also overlap. Here's one that's overlapping and so on. If you, uh, if you take this problem and break it down into a bunch of smaller problems by trying to figure out how many of these smaller squares there are on a checkerboard, a big problem like this becomes much easier.